Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Amori. Uh, when we last left our hero, we went back to the, the real world. And there's an obnoxious banging on the door. Hello? Hello? Sunny? Are you there? Interesting. Let's open the door. Pardon me, I'm just gonna big myself up here. There we go. I'm wearing one of the comfy sweaters my wife got me. Hi, Sonny. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> well, more like noon. It actually turns out Hero's not coming back till dinner, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom's having me buy some stuff at Far Away before he comes back, and I thought it might be funner if we went together. Do you want to come along? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. Uh, I check with my friend. I am apparently on track for the good ending. I think it involves doing... Oh, it's Miwo. Damn. Um, I think it involves going outside because he told me that it's possible to just stay inside and do your chores. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it, must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. Son, to be honest, do I smell? <laughs> All right, still no Kel's house. Kel's basketball hoop. A little dangerous out in the street like that. Oh man. Um, Hero being romantically involved with Mari and Mari being dead in the real world that all just clicked in my brain I'm going to scoop myself back this is the first thing I'm uh, recording today so it's also the first Omori I've recorded in a while nature stuff Big ol' red stop sign. Let's see what's going on in here. Ooh, trash. Is that who I think it is? Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. What's up, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. Feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Yesterday? What do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom? Alright. Yeah, I feel better. Do you want to hang out with us? Sunday's not going to be around for much longer, you know? I don't know. Maybe tomorrow? Sorry. Don't worry. I have to force yourself. We can catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay then. See you later, I guess. Aww. Cool. Hi, Kel and Sunny. If you see any seashells, bring them. Sure. A lovely day for a picnic. Chicken pot pie, lemon pie, and apple pie. Phew. Making patties is hard work. Once I sink my, sink my teeth into a juicy tender burger, it's oh, gonna be worth it. Mmm, I can almost taste it now. Dear, pay attention, the patties are burning. Oh shoot, thanks son, that was close. I made some delicious hamburgers the other night. I, um, can I have some? Yeah, give me some. I made some delicious hamburgers the other night. Um, I cut up mushrooms really fine and just put them into the patties. Oh, it was so good. The mushrooms soak up the, the, like, meat juice and, like, give it a more interesting texture. Might make a habit to come to the park more often. Sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. 
five dollars for the trash, so thank you. I, uh, hey, pal's good to see you. New, new recyclist folk that have been showing around me making a real change. It's the first time I've seen so many people taking the initiative to pick up trash. It makes my job easier. <laughs> Feels a little fishy, though. Wait, I was looking for a teddy bear. I suppose I can't take it into the dream world, can I? I've never gone to the park and grilled. Let's see, I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the Bakery and other mark. Either way, Sonny. It's like the time we, yeah, and then we, uh, yeah. As I was saying, can you believe in her? But then, mm, could those two be lesbians? Scooters, you say? Hey, Sonny, I remember something. Remember when we were kids, you and me used to sneak out of the house to go to hobbies in the middle of the night? We could never get up for school in the next on the time next morning, and Hero and Mari would ask why we looked so tired. I'm sure they suspected something, but I'm glad they never told our moms. We were pretty adventurous back then, huh? <laughs> sure, let's try it. Ah, oh, got a slink. This place is small, but has lots of old and rare collectibles. People come all the way from the city to shop here. These places are the best, man. I love old hobby shops. I hate it when they do that. Used to work at the candy store. I work at the candy store, but I like to come here on breaks. Always something new to look at, so I'm never bored. Crap. No. Nothing. Now we'd run away. Hey, Gino. Gino's pizza's the bomb. This this is one dirty, disgusting, greasy looking cheese pizza. Just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So <laughs> still on the go to our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. Made it myself. Out of a cool stick and a jump rope. Think it'll work? So we're gonna have a secret hangout spot? Perfect date spot. Should I bring one of my special ladies? Swimming. Sounds... Pretty fun. Well, while you're fooling around being babies, I'm gonna be skipping rocks. I'm looking for the perfect rocks all week. You can try you want, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Mikhail. Like any girls would actually want to go to the lake without you paying them. Children call me the ah, I'm my tie. <laughs> what a loser. Master, you hurt. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Kim. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? Well, no. I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches. Instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Mm, yeah, you're right. I guess so. I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You think it's because of some cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something, but no, he just likes sandwiches. Here's your Hero sandwich. Please enjoy. Pizza order. Thank you. All right, good to go. I'm ready when you are. Now oh, my tongue. Sonny and Kel, what are you doing here? Did you know it's rude to bother people when they're eating? a nerd. Leave us alone. We got no business with you. I'm trying to 
fix this arcade, but I'm missing a piece. It was bitten off. I wonder where it could be. Pizza. Hello. Fashionable mom. My older daughter's coming home tonight from college. She'll show out lots of tips about what's hip and cool these days. Can't wait to catch up. Oh my gosh, my crush is sitting right there. What do I do? Breathe, baby. You gotta be cool. My wife keeps telling me I'm getting chubbier and chubbier, but I can't help myself when I live so close to Gino's Pizza. I really shouldn't get anything, though. Last night, my wife smelled pepperoni on my breath and got really mad. Yesterday, I was eating a banana. I found a cool overgrown lake area behind the park. But a bunch of uh, hooligans on scooters rolled and kicked me out. They threw away my banana. <sighs> can't let a bunch of kids boss me around. I'm an adult now. A young adult, at least. Let's go to the bakery. My mom placed an order there. It's the candy section. Pharmacy. Oh, here we go. This is probably a bakery. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Would you like some fresh bread? This is Baker. We've been running this bakery for four generations, ever since my mom sailed here from across the sea. I hope one day my children will be able to carry on the tradition of managing this bakery. It would mean the world to me and my husband. They don't have to get married too, do they? Welcome to the family bakery. What would you like? Hiya! Here to pick up an order. Hmm, yes. Well, I said you'd be coming, though I expect you to be here a bit earlier. I'll grab your order. Did you know? This bakery belongs to Michael's family. In case you can't really tell because he wears that awful yellow wig all the time. He's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Makes sense. Here's your order, sir. We hope you see you soon. Enjoy your baked goods. Cool, thanks. I, I see something over here. Hello, fish. I don't have enough money. I shouldn't have given my money to that bum. Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Everything just in time. The sun's about to set. I kind of want to see if it's possible to go to that area behind the park. But on the other hand, it's more likely that whenever we get to Kel's house, we hang out with Hero, he's going to be like, Say, where's Ar Arbory? Maybe he's the only one strong enough to punch aside the... Actually, no. He actually isn't strong enough to do that. But Aubrey is. So maybe. Maybe we'll, like, catch Aubrey doing it. You know, hitting some of that out of the way with her big old baseball bat. Alright. Before we go in, I should warn you my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long with groceries. It's going to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff. You know how it goes. I thought of a solution. So I think you should walk in first. She'll see you and get all excited. Most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. It's a win-win for everyone. Got it? Let's go. Mom, Sunny's here. It took you so long, Cal. I set you off hours ago. How long does it take you to do the bunches? <gasps> Oh my, is that sunny? It must be. It's so good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's stuff you asked for. Go upstairs to my bedroom. Now wait a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's ready. Fucking dick. Bunch of family photos. Cal has a lot of relatives. Bookcase full of action figures and toys. New additions since you were last here. New books. Got a good grilling. Grilling is a way of life. Had a perfectly cooked chicken. It's like Kel's dad has a new hobby. Unfinished cup of coffee. Oh god, it's like my house. I probably already complained about this, but one time I rolled over in bed and, like, felt something hard on my back. And, uh, I later learned that it was a, uh, a, a teacup my wife had just left in bed. 
Here it is. Make yourself at home. Got a basketball hoop and a boom box like I always wanted. I'll play a song for you. <laughs> yep, it's pretty sweet. Mom will let me play it too loud because she says it's bad for Sally. Oh wait, you haven't met Sally yet, huh? <laughs> Guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now. Sally's so my baby sister. Oh! Mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. Cal! There's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. What could that could be? Cooking competition, hot dog eating competition, spelling bee, mathematic olympiad, debate competition, most improved though. Oh, it's a laundry basket. I was like, what can't I save? Basketball. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Um. The Beatrum. Yeah, these houses are really built for, like, one-child families, you know? Hello? Hey, Cal. Hey, Sonny. Sorry for intruding. I was wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Huh. We saw him at the park, but that was a while ago. Can you tell him to come home? I'm worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew could count on you guys. Hmm. Basil's missing today. I have a bad feeling about this. Especially with Aubrey and the Scooter Gang around. Should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for mom, pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Okay, just make sure to be home by dinner. Don't worry, we won't be. Hector's dog bed. He's aggroed a bit. So if animal probably belongs to Hector. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the baby sister. So, is the baby sister not included in Omori's, like, in, in Sunny's dream because she didn't exist at the time when the dream was created? Or because, like, he doesn't want to admit that Kel's growing up and getting more thin- Like, he doesn't want to accept change. Also, Hero's cute. What a good-looking family. Yeah. Dad's beard is a little sus. What is that, Castlevania? Maybe it's Sweetheart. Dad's beard is a little sus, but the mom is cute. Stuffed animal, Hector. Heck. I love the name Heck. It's a shorthand for Hector. I love squeak noises, man. They still, <laughs> they still make me laugh. Bark, 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 bark. Am I a good boy? So can Omori slash Sunny just understand animals, or is that just a, a thing that, like... Or does Sunny slash Omori just think he understands animals? Because sometimes in... Um, I have a little cut on my finger. I was just looking at it. Pardonnez-moi. Okay. He was over here. Hmm. Okay, so this is where he was. Where could he be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody help! Did you hear that? I think it was Basil. Help me, please! Where's his voice coming from? I know this area. It's the old hangouts. The Scooter Gang hijacked our hangout spot! That's not cool. Entrance should be around here somewhere. gonna throw rocks at you now help me someone what the heck are you yelling for you're making a scene plays our secret hangout spot you can't be here because you weren't invited dang it be quiet someone's gonna find this place yeah we're not trying to hurt you we just want to get you out of here is the scooter gang on the level aubrey's in it and sunny might be in the wrong hey stop it what are you doing to basil what the grumble grumble it's calling sunny again why do you always show up how do you find this place we gotta defend our turf. Aubrey. Ugh. 
Go away, Cal. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now? This used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or we'll mess you up. Fine. That's how it's gonna be. Stop bullying Basil. We weren't doing anything to him. He started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? Tell the truth. Stop being a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. Good to me. Right behind you, Mr. The Maverick. Oh, man. Let's settle this, Cal. You and Senator are going to pick a fight with me and my friends. You got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach him a lesson. Oh, my God. Oh, the hooligans are just one unit. Yeah. Is that a lot? Oh my god. Oh my god. I get the feeling that this is one of those uh, supposed to lose fights. Swiftly strikes Cal. The hooligans attack me. Oh my god. Alright, I'm not even gonna hit. Mm, I'm not gonna heal. Yeah, this seems unfeasible. Moy, I've got me a new water bottle and I'm very thirsty. <laughs> Is this real life? We won, Master, we won! So if you're right, nerds. Game, I'm hungry. Let's get some food. Cal, Sonny, get the heck out of here. Oh, we really did it. The evil foes have been defeated. We heroically ganged up on you. Darn. Sorry, Sonny. Why did I think we could take on six people at once, even if they're a bunch of dweebs? It's over, Cal. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No, I won't. Can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you become. What would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? She's already dead. Can you stop it with that? While you're at it, tough, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I have to spell it out for you? Don't listen to him. He's just spouting crap like usual. Right? This isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. Scooting away. It's so <laughs> threatening that they're the scooter gang. You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later. Aubrey. Gah. Ugh. Why? Why do you keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Sonny, why? Why did you show up now? When did you stop messing with Basil? What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. Think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? No, that's the doc. And you, you're the worst. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did. What could he have possibly done? Aubrey, I get away from me. Shoot. What the heck, what are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Oh, I didn't mean to. Don't worry about Aubrey, I'll keep her busy. Go help Basil. Um, I'm afraid of water. Yes, I want to save him. Don't be a pussy. Don't pussy out. Come on. Don't be a coward. Man, Kel's mom's gonna be pissed. 
we're gonna come back. <laughs> we're gonna have two new kids. Three of us are gonna be all soaked with water. Oh, for Oh, I just realized this probably means the next... Interesting. The next uh, part of the um, of the, the dream world is going to be underwater. Oh, we're back at the staircase. Is the staircase like an important thing for, uh, for Sonny? Like, is that where he overcame his fears? Oh god, I'm starting to get worried. You know, normally people... I try to go around it. I hit the buttons to go around it, and he shook his head no. So, are his pockets just like full of rocks? Something drags you down. Is that something as in it just was a thing? Or was it literally the thing that has been either some- yep, it's something. Listen to your heartbeat, don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Can't even run. Don't need to. Have to keep going. Don't give up, no matter how possible it seems. Persist. It's probably a good time to use that, right? Persists. So Omori must always have that up. Because <laughs> o Omori skill. Omori does not like die immediately. Everyone else will become toast and can get revived, but for Omori, whenever he is, you know, in battle and he takes a lot of damage, it'll drop him down to one hit point first, and then he'll... And then if he takes damage after that, then he'll die and the party gets a game over. So were all the lessons that Sunny learns just things that Omori already knows? Or does Sunny know that he needs to learn them, and so Omori is his view of himself as needing to know what he has to do? I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit. Keep on persisting. Yes. I think we've seen this before. Is that a memory? Is it like a weird pseudo-hallucination? Or is that happening now? <gasps> oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> oh, you had me worried, you piece of shit. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Dude, the gang is almost back. Yeah. That's all four. 
Looks like he's breathing steadily. We need to get him somewhere warm and quick. He's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait, where do you all think you're going? That's enough. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? We gotta go. No hero out, though. I can't save? Alright, well. Let it be known that I want... Oh my god, this is the park. The puzzle pieces just made me realize that, but that's the park where... That's... <laughs> of course. Oh, it's another cat. Right, I think his house is this way. So I imagine Aubrey will properly join the party on one day left. Wait, where's his house? Is it still down here? Okay, I just went right too early. Uh, where does he live? The house with all the plants? Bessel, what happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. I can do that. Quickly, come inside. Hero is resolute, dude. <laughs> that was intense. I hope he wakes up soon. It feels so good to have Hero be back. Hey, Cal. Hey, Sonny. Looks like he's gonna be just fine. I heard from Mom that Basil was missing. You two went looking for him. When I was running the park, I heard the commotion from the hangout spot. I guess I got there in the nick of time. What was happening back there? Aubrey pushed Basil into the lake. What? Was Aubrey? No way, she wouldn't do that to Basil. It must be some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, Hero. She got all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey, what happened while I was gone? Like I never should have left. It's not your fault this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. Let's see if we can't check on him, though. Been taking care of Vessel for two years, but I barely know anything. We should open up more. I just want to help. Oh, Sonny. There's no way out of this, is there? Poor Basil's been through so much these few days. Here, you must be... Basil, you must be tired. Get some rest. We'll come back for you tomorrow. Is real-world Basil finally going to open up? when regular, like, when we find Dream World Basil. You know, Sonny, you were pretty awesome back there, jumping in the lake to save him like that. Even if Hero ended up saving the day, you deserve recognition too. How about a high five? You are goddamn right I want a high five. There are, there are very rare instances where I would not accept a high five. Maybe if a high 10 is more applicable, or if I'm at a funeral. But even then, there are some funerals where I'm like, this does deserve a high five. The Trutch. I believe Aubrey goes to, uh, to Wednesday church. I'm getting a strange feeling from the cemetery all day today. Well, the regular world doesn't have any magic. It can't, such is the nature. Oh man, it feels so good to have the party together, you know? Oh right, I didn't see the dog outside. Knock knock. Wait, what? Where the hell is Kel's house? Oh, 
Oh god, I've gotten totally lost. Oh wait, I have to head up and then north, don't I? Or up and then west. North and west, Jesus. I'm directionally challenged, pardonnez-moi. This way should be my house, right? Holy book. Oh my god. It's like my grandma's house. Yep. Jesus gotta watch you poop. Carbo cut out some hair twins. There's something stuck in the back. Seems we've gone missing. We couldn't have gotten far. Find us, dear little brother. Daphne and Bowen, your older siblings. Weird. <laughs> Boo. Haha, <laughs> got you good. A second? You're not our darling brother. Hmm. Little brother's too cool for us now, isn't he? Doesn't have time to play games with his loving older siblings anymore. Yes, Daphne, it's very regrettable. Ah, <sighs> barely get any time off work. When we do, little Michael's never around to play with us. It's unfair. Life is cruel. Well, that's fine. Now we have some new friends. Though I'm not exactly sure what they do. Entertain us, dear friends. Yes, entertain us. Oh, you got nothing? Too bad. Come, brother. Let us think of more fun games to play. Goodbye, new friend. This has been pleasant. He's got multiple wigs. Oh my god. What a loser. It's kind of su- I, I hate having to share bedrooms. At least with someone that I'm not, like, you know, dating, I guess. Sharing bedrooms with your siblings sucks, is what I'm trying to get across. Old bread. Great. You conquered the great evil. What did it cost you? I can see the pain in your eyes. My brother and sister are real drag. Everyone here is the same. Hmm. Okay, so this should be Cal's house, right? Because of the flamingos. Damn it, I'm a fool. Hey, fellas, how's it hanging? That's my remote. Got up to go to the bathroom. When I came back, it was gone. What a nut. I had to make sure that we weren't going to do a classic old Silent Hill 2. Thanks again, kiddos. I think I accidentally brought it to the bathroom, forgot to bring it back. It scared me from getting out of this comfy couch. There's another can of orange Joe. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Kel's house is the dog house. A pinwheel. That's how Kel do his throws. <laughs> oh, he just knows how to throw from playing catch with his dog and or fetch. Oh, that's wonderful. Good old Hector. Of course, it's whenever I take a drink. Cal, hero, where have you two been? So late, we got worried. Sorry, we got held up. Good news, we found Basil, and he's safe. Hmm, 
A lot of you know I spent all week preparing the chicken roast for tonight's dinner, and it's gotten cold. Oh, Mom. Don't cry. Don't worry, Mom. That's what microwaves are for. Oh, my poor dinner. <laughs> there, there, honey. Cheer up. Today's a special day. No need to be sad. Here's back from college. Good to see you, champ. Thanks, Dad. Oh, your dad's right. No time for sniffles. It's good to see you back. We've missed you so much. <laughs> Sounds like Sally's awake. I'll go get her. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Help yourselves to dinner. There is something kind of satisfying about certain chicken when it's cold. There are, there are some chickens that you can eat when cold. Ooh, nice. Am I going to migrate this whole chicken? <laughs> Everything's calmed down. We can relax a bit. It's so good to see you again, Sonny. It has been way too long. And it's good to see you again, too, Cal. And for Mommy, you're moving away soon. Sounds exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's his last day. Moving might seem nerve-wracking now, but it isn't bad when you get used to it. I think it'd be good for you, Sonny. I have moved... Four-ish times? Five? I'm a, I'm a child of divorcees. Um... Which means that one of my moves was when I still had one house in the same place. But my dad moved out of an apartment into a house. Um, so that was one. So I've only really moved. And of course, then I moved out of the one house into just my dad's house. Um, due to some shenanigans. Uh, so like I... The actual times that I've moved, like properly moved, has only been twice, but there have been those two little halfway moves in the middle. Anyway, start moving to a new place. It's nice to have a fresh start. My point was is that moving is kind of fun now. I like moving. Um, you know, I enjoy my homes. Uh, I've enjoyed every home that I live in, uh, barring the one. Uh, but when you finally get moved into a new place and discover all the cool new things, it's fun. Uh, I'm still f finding out all the cool things in this place. A little sad to see you go, but it's okay as long as you keep in touch. <sighs> Did have a lot of memories. Missed those days. Lazing around, eating food, drinking juice. We did everything together. Went to the park, the lake, the beach. What I miss hanging out is, uh, what I miss the most is hanging out at your place, honey. Is that how we're going to end this? You guys had everything. Big TV, newest toys, grand piano, and our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse was awesome. What if it's still there? Is it sunny? Food's done. Let's eat in the living room and continue chatting. Wait, hey, hero. I also gave Sonny his photo album. Do you want to see it? You have the photo album? Let's look through it while we eat dinner and get our greasy, chickeny hands all over it. Uh, <laughs> this week, this is kind of silly. This weekend, I bought a Cornish game hen. First photo. Let me try to file it. Calby and Cal. So many party hats. So you playing Game Boy. <laughs> Back from the park on my birthday. 3-9. Hero whooped Kel's poor little ass. With Sunny's little titsies in the background. Sorry, Cal. Better luck next time. Here, I tried to do a smooch, but then we left. Yeah, so I just bought a Cornish game hen because I was curious about them. Sh me staring Sunny a book I've been reading. Where I stole my camera and took this one. I wasn't paying attention. They're so cute together. Is the twist that Basil's in love with, with Sunny? Because that would be so good. I want them to be happy, damn it. I want them both to be very happy. Sunny's stuffies. So many, and they're so soft. My wife has probably about like two hundred dollars worth of stuffed seals. Flower crowns. Here, I'm making flower crown. We've seen most of these already, so. Ah, oh, they're so good. <laughs> So good. Oh, he's the sand guardian. 
Seven, Sunny's turning 12. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yes, I'm done. Too bad some photos are missing. Oh, we stole the photo album, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Hey, Hero, what's up? You okay? Yeah, it's just that... Omari well, isn't in any of these photos. You're right, she isn't. You you are right. It's only the photos she took. This album brings back good memories. Things were simpler when we were all kids. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could let us see your house one more time? Oh, that's a good idea. You gotta convince Mom first. She's probably gonna be kind of mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. Wow! <laughs> Phew, what a mess. Sally made a little doo-doo, but she's clean now. Whee! Ooh, boo. Hey there, Sally. Peek-a-boo. Wah! Stop it, Kel. You're scaring her. <clears throat> so, uh, hey, Mom. We're wondering if we could hang out at Sunny's house today since he's moving away tomorrow. Oh, but you just came back. It's already so late. What about spending time with your dear old mom? I'm going to be here for the rest of the summer, and Sunny's leaving the day after tomorrow. Plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for here to spend some time with Kel and Sunny. I haven't seen Sunny around for a long time. It's been a while since the boys have had the chance to hang out. I say we should let them. <sighs> Fine then. Have your fun. He has to wash the dishes for me with the next week. Sure, I guess. Free to go. Let's leave your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with your old and busted mom. Oh, it's so good to have the gang together. Hey, so I'm really glad we got to hang out and everything, but I feel bad for leaving Mom alone. Let's go to fix it and get some flowers. I know she'd appreciate that. Oh, Hero. Always a mama's boy. He's a good boy is all. You know? So, uh... Based on the nails that have been hammered into Aubrey's bat, she probably has at least been to fix it. See, whenever I'm out with friends, I was just thinking about this. Whenever I'm out with friends, we always try to walk shoulder to shoulder, but if there's three friends, you're fucked, you know? You gotta put one person in the dark. You gotta you gotta you gotta throw them to the to the sands. But if everyone just walked in a line like an RPG party, all fine. Oops, before I forget, here's some money before my mom's flowers. I think I'd let you pay for it. $10? Wow. I'm just gonna love these flowers. Let's drop them all at my place. Let's, uh. And of course he overpaid me for it. That's just like Hero. Cheap flowers. Not that that's a bad thing. Flowers are, you know, they're the 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 deal with flowers is that they're just nice. <laughs> <laughs> Cat left a gift for you. Trash. I love how the, how the cat actually doesn't have an animation, so they just have to go and bounce it along. Oh, that's so good. Sometimes it's better when things aren't animated. Oh, man. This game makes me feel nostalgic somehow. Like, I I want like a fudge sickle, you know. Hmm. 
You're pretty late. You should head your house right after this. <laughs> Thought we were over this. Come on, hero. Stand back to back, like always. So, Sunny, which one of us is taller? Sorry, Cal. Better luck next year. Man, I'm so sure I'd be taller this time. It's all that orange Joe. Caffeine stunts your growth. Don't blame it on orange Joe. Just gotta balance out with the right amount of milk. But I hate milk. Maybe I can mix it into one and drink it together. You wait. Next year. I can feel it in my bones. I've never broken a bone, and I attribute it to all the milk I've drunk. Aww. Oh, it's so charming. Hey, Mom, I got you some flowers. Oh, are these for me? They're beautiful. Thank you. Ha! Such a charmer. It's like your old man. Sorry for overreacting. I know Sunny's moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make the older you get. Damn straight. Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Sure you will. Take care, Sunny. Yeah, I've made... Since I left my hometown... Well, your hometown. Uh, oh, wow. Since I left my hometown, I have made four new friends, but I have been estranged from two of them already. Oh my god, no. I have made eight new friends, and I've been estranged from six. Oh god, I forgot about that D&D &D group I used to be in. Ooh. It just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house. Oh my god, I forgot about that other D&D &D group I was in. Oh my god, I'm not friends with any of those people. <laughs> oh, I'm a horrible friend. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> been so long since we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time flies, huh? Sure does. Let's go inside. After you, Sonny. Whoa, it's cleared out. House feels a lot bigger now that nothing's there. You want to learn how big your house is? Look at the ceiling of your house and imagine all of the furniture on the floor on the ceiling. It doesn't feel like it should fit. Like, if I put... I have two desks in this room. I have a mirror and I have uh, the big thing behind me and I have two chairs and a, little, and a little table and then all my shelves. I feel like if I put all of those on the ceiling, it wouldn't possibly fit. But they're literally the same size. The floor and ceiling are the same size. Unless you have a weird sloped ceiling. It used to be a couch here where we'd watch TV. We'd come here every week and watch cartoons in the morning. This is the stain from that time I spilled an orange Joe. Mara got so mad. That's because her cat stepped in and walked over all over the house. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, one time one of my friends spilled his coffee in my house. Some people thought that my dad was going to murder him, but he was pretty cool about it. He cleaned it up, though. Got on his hands and knees like a little scullery maid. Man, it's getting too dark to see the treehouse. That's okay. We can come back tomorrow. Wait, I have an idea. What if we just stay over for the night? It's going to be the last time in this house together. When will be the next time we can spend the night with Sunny? I'd love to, but Mom's not going to be happy. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night because Sally's crying anyway. You're going to wash dishes for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve it. Well, that's true. I'll probably be fine. We live next door, so we'll only be a walk away. Oh, man. Dirty dishes. <laughs> Looks like you have some chores to do. I can handle it. I never know what to do with myself in the morning anyway. Think of it as a parting gift. Wow. Now I don't need to do my chores, and Mommy won't be mad at me. Oh, I remember this hallway. Closet was to the left. Piano room was to the right. What if the piano is still there? It's going to be something depressing, I bet. Don't touch me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. 
me turn that up for everyone. Show off. I guess I still got it. Hey, Sonny, that reminds me. Do you still play the violin? Oh, it's not here. I guess you already packed it up. There was a song you used to play with Mari. It still gets stuck in my head, but I don't remember what it's called. You two would play it over and over. We'd hear it from our house sometimes. What was it? Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Maybe you should call it a night. It sounds good to me. I have to get up early for my morning jog anyway. Where should we sleep? Probably your room. Remember, you used to hate sleeping alone. That sounds fun. We can sleep on the floor, if anything. Let's find some blankets. Hold on, Cal. Wait for me. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what Omori means. It's the piano. Oh my god. That's so cool. That's why so much of the music is in piano. Oh my god! Oh, that's so cool! <gasps> Fuck yeah, a little blanket. Hey, Sonny, we built a bed for it. Hope you don't mind. This was Kel's idea, I had nothing to do with it. By the way, Sonny and I got you a gift. <gasps> oh yeah, we did! It's Papa Chip's chip off of the old block cookbook. You remember this? Of course I do. I remember when I wanted to be a cook. Seems so silly now. Hey, you were pretty good at it. And you still can be a coke hero. Ah, that's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But you really like to cook, don't you? People gotta eat, right? So, like, why not? Haha, <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Kel. <laughs> He's such a fast sleeper. Always has been, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over, Sonny. But it's pretty hard in the empty house, especially without Mari. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now. But it seems like you pretty much stayed the same. Like, he stagnated, in fact. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. <laughs> it's really nice to see you again. I wish Aubrey and Basil could be here, too. Anyway, sorry for ranting. It's getting late. I'll probably head to sleep soon. Good night, Sonny. I'll talk to you in the morning. Okay, we're good. Not scary, not creepy. Good, good. Um, I want to save and cut the episode because I get the feeling that if I go to sleep, something important is going to... Here I go shooting my big fucking mouth off. I'm like, oh, better not, better avoid the bed so I don't get any... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut the episode because it's been an hour. I've been Alfred, this has been Omori, a.k.a. The Piano. Um, my god, I love this game. Oh my god, it's so cool. Anyway, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys later. Um, so, uh, bye, I guess. <laughs>